What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to your 25th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over different methods in the math class. Now, uh, let's see, it was probably like two tutorials ago when I built a simple compound interest calculator. Uh, we use one of the methods called power uh, by using pow. And this allows us to use the power function, but or excuse me, methods they're called in Java. But in this one, I'm going to be teaching you about other useful methods. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and make a print line out on the screen. So print line and make it take an empty parameter for now. And in this parameter, I'm going to be putting all the methods of the math class. So go ahead and type math, uh, put your dot separator, and then the first one, why did I say th th first, first one I want to teach you guys about is called the absolute value and that's a b s and inside your parameter it takes one number now what the absolute value does is take any number negative or not and give you the absolute value of it so if you have 26.7 and you go ahead and run this it would output 26.7 this is pretty much if you have a positive 26 it would give you 26 if you have negative 26 it would give you 26 how much away from zero that this is so that's what ABS does, absolute value. The next thing I want to teach you about is seal. And this stands for sealing. Any number you give it, it's going to round it up. So if you give it 7.4, when you run it, it's going to round it to 8. So even if it is really supposed to round down to 7, um, when you use seal, it always rounds it up. Now since it has seal, there's always something called floor. Um, again, this takes a number, say you have 7.8, it always rounds it down. So again, seal always rounds up the number, floor always rounds down the number. So your floor, if you have 7.8, is going to be 7. Now that we learn absolute value, seal, and floor, let me teach you about something else called max. Now this is the first one where in the last uh, three we learned how to make a method that takes only one parameter but max is the first one that takes multiple parameters in a single method so what max does is you give it two numbers and it gives you the maximum of those numbers so say you have two parameters 8.6 and separate them with a comma and uh, 5.2 whenever you run this it gives you 8.6 because that's the maximum of the two numbers so that's how you can get two numbers and find the maximum of those. And again, um, whenever you have a method like that, you also have the opposite. And this one is called min. What min does is take the lesser of the two numbers. So let's run this. And the lesser of 8.6 and 5.2 is 5.2, right down there. So now we learn absolute value, seal floor, max min. Um, again, our power function, which takes power and say you want something like 5 to the third power you would use 5 for your first argument and 3 for your next one again when you run this this was the same one we used in our compound interest calculator it gets 125 since 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 and the last um, built-in method I want to teach you about in the math class is something called square root in SQRT that's what it stands for it only takes one parameter such as 9 and it finds the square root of that number so when you run this the square root of 9 is 3 outputs 3 so that's how you use um, your built-in methods from your math class again uh, you want to notice that you don't need to create an object like you do when you're making your own classes this is built-in um, so that's how you use math with your dot separator and then the method name and then put however many arguments it takes. Um, I just showed you guys, uh, let's see, absolute value, seal floor, max, uh, min, pow, square root. I just showed you guys the seven probably most common ones. And those are the ones we're going to be working with from now on. So uh, I just want to show you guys what those do because we're going to be using them and I don't want you guys to get lost. So uh, play around with those, um, throw them in your built in methods, and you can uh, make some pretty cool stuff with those. So for now, I just want to show you guys that. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next tutorial.